the coast there. Now we're watching our next storm system marching its way across the country. This is going to spawn another low pressure system and it's going to ride up the coastline. So we will be tracking a nor'easter. It looks like heavy wet snow. The best chance for that is inland along with higher elevation locations. A risk for power outages along with that heavy snow and some very gusty winds upwards of 50 miles per hour plus in several locations. There will also be an area of some minor coastal flooding for the east facing coast coast. So as we go over the next several days, here comes that low pressure system spawning just off the coast there. It's going to ride up along the east coast, starting off as rain closer to the coast. And as you can see, heavy wet snow as we look a little bit farther inland and for those higher elevation locations. Monday evening, by the way. So by the time we get to our Monday evening commute, it will be on the wet side. This continues well into the overnight hours. Still looking at rain closer to the coast going into early Tuesday morning. This is when winds will be the most significant. The as we continue throughout the day on Tuesday, then colder air wraps around the backside of the storm system. So by the time we get to Tuesday evening, we'll start to see snow making its way closer to the coast. This is where we'll get our best chance for some accumulation, but it will be very short lived because this storm will be the most at it or at its peak. By the time we get to around Tuesday morning, by the time we get to Tuesday evening, it will be losing quite a bit of strength. So now we're going to fast forward a bit. Sunday looking great, but a few clouds around temperatures, upper 30s, low 40s, a few locations in the mid 40s. Now, as we go into Monday, here we go. Monday afternoon, 1 to 2 p.m. Activity already starting to make its way in. As we go into Monday evening, here comes those light rain showers and heavy wet snow as we look towards Worcester, Worcester Hills, points north and points west. Heavier rain as we make our way close to the coast. This is early Tuesday morning. That's when winds will be at their most significant. There will be a brief break in activity as the storm system continues to pull its way through. But here comes that colder air wrapping around and that's when those snow showers will start to make their way closer to the coast. So this is what we're looking at upwards of possibly a foot in several locations as we look farther north and west. Rain switching over to snow that's late in the day on Tuesday, looking like mostly a rain event as we look towards the coast. So these are the numbers we're looking at currently. These will change possibly over the next 24 hours or so. The best chance for that foot once again along and north of Route 2, three to six inches as we look towards Lawrence, low one to three inches as we look towards Boston and extending into other portions of 495, and dusting to possibly two inches for the Cape because it does not look like you're going to be seeing a lot of snow out of this one. In regards to those Wind gusts, we're looking at anywhere between 50 to possibly 60 miles per hour. So an impact weather day by the time we get to Tuesday, because that's when we'll be dealing with the most significant impacts for Monday. Mostly dry throughout the first half of the day, Monday evening. That's when activity makes its way in, not pulling away until we get to Wednesday afternoon, then sunshine returning by the time we get to Thursday and Friday.